వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ మై లాస్ట్ వీడియో వాస్ అబౌట్ గట్ హెల్త్ సూపర్ హీరోస్ అండ్ ఫర్మెంటెడ్ ఫుడ్స్ టుడే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ కెఫీర్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్లీ ఆస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అబౌట్ కెఫీర్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ కెఫీర్ కెఫీర్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫర్మెంటెడ్ మిల్క్ డ్రింక్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ మేడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మేడ్ బై యాడింగ్ కెఫీర్ గ్రెయిన్స్ టు ద మిల్క్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ దీస్ కెఫీర్ గ్రెయిన్స్ they are colonies of yeast and lactic acid bacteria they resemble like a cauliflower in appearance so it's like a starter culture that used to produce kefir so where do we get these kefir grains you can buy or if you know someone who already makes kefir you can get a little kefir grains from them and make your own kefir so can we reuse kefir grains yes once kefir is made we can reuse the grains again to make a fresh batch of kefir so what nutrients are there in kefir it is loaded with nutrients one cup of low fat kefir contains 9 grams protein it's a good source of protein and 24 percentage of the daily value of calcium 20% percentage of the daily value of phosphorus and it also contains vitamin b12 riboflavin magnesium vitamin d and several other nutrients so now the question is is there dairy free options not everyone uh, drinks milk and some people not able to tolerate milk there are dairy free options you can make kefir from any plant based milk oat milk soya milk almond milk coconut milk or even you can make kefir from plain water so now one important questions comes in our mind we it is kefir is not popular in some parts of the world we are more familiar with yogurt and butter milk so how is it different than yogurt and buttermilk so the answer is kefir has more variety of microorganism it is a potent source of probiotics when compared to yogurt and buttermilk we can say that it's a powerful version of yogurt so what are the health benefits of kefir i talked about health benefits of fermented foods in my previous video like promoting gut health lowering the risk of osteoporosis maintaining strong bones inhibiting the growth of harmful bacteria keeping muscles healthy improving allergy and asthma because of anti inflammatory properties so there are several health benefits so now all these health benefits are proven by research studies or not there are some research studies generally about fermented foods and specific products like kefir and it shows promising results and health benefits but as these fermented foods becoming more popular these days we can expect more research studies in this area and you may be able to see a more strong evidence base to support the health benefits and claims about kefir and similar fermented foods so who should not be using kefir so people with lactose intolerance they can have dairy free options but people who are not used to probiotics or fermented foods they need to start with a small amount and increase slowly and anyone with a compromised immune system or histamine intolerance they need to speak to health professional before using kefir or any fermented foods so let us look at how to make kefir at home you can watch videos there are several videos available you need 1 to 2 tablespoon of kefir grains you need to put it into a jar preferably glass jar and you need to add around 2 cups 500 ml of milk and leave some space at the top of the jar 
put the lid on and you need to leave it for 12 to 36 hours, usually around 24 hours. And you need to keep this at room temperature, not very hot, not very cold. Some more tips about making kefir at home. You need to maintain a clean process throughout. So the glass jar should be cleaned and dried and preferably to use a wooden spatula. You can cover the jar with a cloth cap or a paper towel or you can also use a clip top jar with a rubber gasket. And you need to rem remember the temperature. You can leave it at room temperature, should not be very hot or very cold between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. So how should we store kefir and how long it will last? So one strain, you can keep the kefir in the fridge. So once you keep kefir in the fridge, it will slow the fermentation process. And you can easily use around 7 to 10 days. So kefir grains, it can be also stored and reused. So if you are leaving kefir grain outside in room temperature, you can leave it for up to one week. You need to transfer the kefir grains to a jar and add some milk and leave it in room temperature for one week. Or if you want to keep it more uh, time, you have to store the kefir grains in the fridge. In conclusion, Kefir is a fermented milk drink, cultured from kefir grains. Can be made at home or you can buy. It has health benefits and is a source of nutrients. So why not try kefir? So thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.